please welcome Peter Siddle. Yeah, don't worry about Peter Siddle. We've got P-City. Sid's welcome, buddy. (laughs) Great to be back. Uh, It's great to see you. Welcome back to Melbourne. You enjoying being back home? Loving it, loving it. I think, yeah, just everything about Melbourne uh, and the great weather. But, um, yeah, yeah. no, nah, it's great to be back, yeah, friends and family and come in and see you guys. So mm. you've been to Tassie and then you've buggered off overseas and now you've just gone the long way around. Where have you been? <laughs> I've been everywhere, really. I, um, yeah, obviously went back over the UK um, once again for another summer, uh, yeah, short summer over there and got injured midway through. So I decided that um, I'd go to go to LA and spend a couple of months in, um, in America just relaxing and... Uh, just freshening up, which was great. Get away from cricket. Obviously, always been on the road playing, so it was nice to get away and actually have a extended holiday and enjoy myself. Still looking fit. Thirty nine end of this month, Ooh. so you're still looking after yourself. Uh, a healthy lifestyle, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> because you used to drink too many cans when you're from Morwell and all that. We forget about all that. Ask the question. We said you're not allowed to. <laughs> that was the early days. When yes, I was, exactly. When I was happening with uh, Daisy. Now, it's, yeah, Druin and Morwell will get there on the. On the bank and have a few frothies and have too many. On the bank. On the bank. <laughs> Banks of the river there. <laughs> what, what river? Yeah, what river? True and river. <laughs> <laughs> He's but lost it here, isn't he? Hazelwood that, Pondage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, oh, that's hot. That's not right, that Pondage. <laughs> no. Like <laughs> Barricade. I went in there skiing and I came out with an extra arm. I don't know what happened. Um, but your healthy lifestyle is oh, still on the bananas. <laughs> there you oh, go. Yeah, <laughs> he loves getting out there. Yeah. Yeah. It was all a big myth, actually. They don't, they don't like bananas. I'm, a, I'm an apples man, but. Oh. Oh, <laughs> rubbish. You used to have 12 a day or something, didn't you? I used to have a few, yeah. Warney obviously exaggerated it back in the <laughs> yeah. day on air. And, and then you go with it. You do the little kids' clinics, Yeah, you know, yeah. while you, during the games. And you, you sort of exaggerate it. And it gets out to like 20, 25, 30. <laughs> and, then, and then, yeah, 10 years later, you're stuck with this um, <laughs> this this joke about the bananas. So Are you still I still have, vegan? Are I you still have blokes rocking up uh, to the ground d- d- dressed as bananas. <laughs> There was two there the other day dressed up in banana suits. <laughs> Good. So I go with the... B1 yeah, and B2. I, yeah, I don't like bananas. I'm, I'm an apples man. I don't oh, know what they're on right. about. So then they, they look a bit uh, silly, but... Um, but you're on yeah. the bike now, are you? That's your go. Yeah, always on the bike. Have yeah, you? I've yeah. always been on it, but um, yeah, the last five years, probably a little bit more. So I'm getting old, so the knees don't really handle Ooh, running yeah. anymore. So. Full lycra too, Bill. Oh, yeah. no, full lycra. With yeah. the cleats. Yeah, you got look. You look good. You look good nah. in some lycra, Bill. Oh, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> actually, it actually tucks in all right. I don't mind the lycra. <laughs> yeah, you, get the right, you get the right stuff. You pull it up high oh. and you tuck it right in. <laughs> and do you walk around in those <laughs> shoes and just tiptoe around and nearly and then get stuck in the bike, all that stuff? Yeah, I don't get stuck in the bike. I've had enough experience now not to get stuck. But I, I've had a few mishaps where, yeah, you, you forget the clip out and you end up just look like a, a falling tree and just tumble straight over onto the road. But um, Good. Yeah, all a bit of fun. Do you ride in the big packs? I do, but okay. yeah, I, either, I I want to be at the front of the big packs because yeah, it gets a bit dangerous about down back. Do you have to be like a certain amount wide? Because yeah. you see them down Beach Road, they're, they're normally ten wide, yeah. and they should only be two. It was two. Yeah, the should limit? be two. Should be two. Yeah, yeah. two yeah. two down the road. But um, like anything, you're, you're same as a car, aren't you? So if you're in a lane, you're in a lane, aren't you? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So you pay, actually got the same a, rights as a car. Yeah. Pay the same fees in that. Yeah. Yep. Right. Hey, uh, tell us about <laughs> the Victorian cricket. Because you've come back and you're a mentor now for the young boys, and there's some good boys there, aren't there? There is some good boys. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's been good fun coming back. Yeah, a couple of years, um, left in me uh, at Victoria. So yeah, a bit of player and assistant coach role, and yeah, just helping out some of the youngsters when I'm not away on trips and play a little less, help out these young guys, go on a few second eleven trips and work with them and Ooh. um, see how we go. And you're batting. You always could bat. Yeah. Held the bat, didn't you? You, yeah, you rated uh, yourself batting. Yeah, I did when I was interested. Not interested in batting oh, anymore. So because well, I, t- I bat at eleven and don't worry about it now, so it's all good. Just the other day, I was watching on um, <laughs> YouTube. I thought he's Sid's walking out the oh, bat, yeah. and he looked good. And he, I know he can bat. He's been working out in the nets, and this happened. Siddle in the air, and it might be very short-lived. It is. <laughs> One ball after the drinks break. I told the captain before that. I said, mate, why aren't we declaring? I said, we've we, we got to get stuck into these boys. So, yeah, I, I proved it right. I well said, done. straight up in the air, let's get back into the bowling. And, and what you should replay what happened a couple of overs later. You got a wicket. Yeah, I got a wicket straight away. Of so we, we should have started a bit earlier. What about Mitch Perry? And uh, Fergus O'Neill, he's a mad Rush Hour fan. Actually, he loves it. He loves everything. Yeah. Does he? he loves Big Bill, so that's big why he loves the rush hour. He loves you, yeah. What's but, wrong um, with him? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, they're good boys. They're very yeah. talented young bunch. Yeah, Mitch Perry 
played the Australia A Series um, yep. earlier in the year before the season and did well up north and um, has started the season well. And yeah, young Fergus, he's a he's a rare cat, but um, a good kid works hard and and he can bat. Unlike yeah. myself, he, yeah. he he can bowl and can bat. So, um, yeah, he had a great game um, the last uh, last week at the G. So um, mm. this week was a tough game for us. It was a bit of a, a boring draw, boring, but wasn't um, it? yeah, back to the G uh, next week, which everyone's excited about. You've taken to the role of assistant coach because you're pumping blokes up as the replacements yes. are a couple of the greats that are still going around now. Yeah, try. I try my best, don't I? That's you know, that's what you're meant to do, isn't yeah. it? The coaches just <laughs> talk talk up your players and 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 put down all the opposition. So, um, which is good. But no, it it is. It's it's going well. I, yeah, I'm enjoying the sort of difference of, you know, the role I'm playing now. Um, in Victorian cricket, I'm content with my career and and yeah. and what I've done. So, enjoying. Yeah, a few less games, a bit better on the body, a bit more relaxing, and um, yeah, and being able enjoying. To, Help, yeah, uh, help the next generation. Good you're back you. in Melbourne. Are you going to see more games from the Kangaroos or will you have to fly down to Blundstone where they play most of their home games? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back down to Hobart <laughs> just, to, just to watch a bit more football. But um, no, nah, yeah, like I said, I'm usually over in England, so I miss a lot of the football. But um, yeah, potentially back a little bit more now over the coming years. So definitely get down and cheer the boys on and... Hopefully, um, yeah, on the improve over the next uh, next few Did years. Did you keep an eye yeah, on this so. season? No, nah, you know, over in England, it's pretty busy, you know. I'm a busy player and stuff like that. <laughs> so, you know, news isn't news isn't <laughs> good. Oh, yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not up to date over there yet. So, I miss a bit of the footy until I get back. And oh. I don't see them playing finals, but um, I don't really know what happens before then. No, so, they finish bottom. Um, we'll see how we go. <laughs> and they Wasn't got a second last this year. A second last, was it, in the end? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Right. yeah so. That's why like West Coast got picked one. And they got draft picks two, three, nine, 12, 14, 18. They got about 100 draft picks. So, they've got to improve. See, you've got to get down there. Now you're an assistant coach. <laughs> I don't know about that. Clark Clarko's a good man. I'm sure he's got it under, under control. He'll have it sorted. Uh, stick around. Plenty more after this. Sid, are you still rolling with the sunnies? Always the, got the, the sunnies. The bananas oh. were the first part, <laughs> yeah. and now it's the sunnies. They, the kids froth them. They went they berserk in Adelaide, didn't they? They did. They yeah. did. Yeah, I guess I guess that's the cycling. You know, there's always Cyclists ah, always have rare yes, yes. out there sunnies on, and that's sort of where it came from. Um, yeah, the first year at the Strikers when they did them, they surprised me um, with these, yeah, the big <laughs> Larry uh, bl bright blue sunglasses. Um, and then, yeah, last year I got to yeah, obviously help them out and um, played a role in picking the, picking the next ones. But, yeah, obviously moved on from there. Back at the Renegades now, so yeah. no more Adelaide, everything back in Melbourne. Exactly. So I'm not, not sure where the Sunnies will go now. How quick are they coming out nowadays? And do you slow down a bit and then get more swing or you just get more cagey, do you? Uh, a little bit more cagey. I think that's what you're meant to do when you get yeah, older, isn't it? You get right. wiser, you get cagier, yeah. you put on a little bit more weight, you mm. get a bit lazier. Yes, that's, yes. That's, that's, how, that's what goes on, isn't it? <laughs> Bloody <a> open. <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> um, but no, nah, yeah, obviously, I actually probably got a little bit more pace now. I'll get the rest a few more games, oh. so I don't have to play back-to-back. -back. Yeah. Good. Scotty Boland plays, and, yeah. then I, and then when he rests, I get to come in and play. So Does he I'm talk? actually a bit fresher at the moment. Scotty, do you have a chat with him? Yeah, I have a chat with him. Yeah, I've never he, hardly he, heard him speak. He, he, he's, 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 he's a, a quiet, match there he's a quiet man. He's a quiet man. He's a shy man, but he um, he knows how to get the job done. And uh, hasn't he done that over oh. the last couple of years? So um, yeah, he's obviously getting uh, ready for a biggest biggest summer of Australian cricket. And he uh, yeah, he's been having a few rests, which means I get a few opportunities to get out there on those flat junction wickets. <laughs> now, as we discussed, the batting probably not your forte at the minute, but did you watch Maxi? Oh, my Victorian did. teammate. Maxie. My I goodness. Did. Is I, it the greatest innings of all time in an ODI? It has to be. It has to be. I think just the, the match situation, I guess, is probably the, yeah. the part that makes it the greatest. The hitting was unbelievable. Oh. The strike rate was unbelievable. But then, yeah, to pretty much Paddy came in. Oh, that was seven for 90 or something <laughs> when Paddy came in and... They proceed to put on a 200 or 200, something like that off very little balls. Paddy stays at one end blocking it, and Maxi puts an absolute clinic down the other end. So it was amazing, and I think, um, yeah, I guess we know he can do that stuff. But, yeah, to see him when he goes off like that is quite Ooh, special to see. How far can they go? Can they win it? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I think, yeah, It's as we've seen, it's going to be hard. It's in India. They, they've mm. got control of all the wickets. Yeah. So <laughs> you see them play, you see them play yeah. the Asian countries and they're on green, green, yeah. fast yeah. wickets and, you know, it scores 400. It's... Um, and then they play all us, us Western countries, you know, Australia, South Africa the other night got bowled out for 80 on a, on a spinning <laughs> wicket. We had a lot of trouble oh. earlier on in the tournament against them and their three spinners. So it's going to be tough, but yeah, I think. We've done everything right. We get to play South Africa now, so it mm. gives us the best chance to get through to the final. And then 
anything can happen. I guess it comes down to the toss and see what see what gets dished up. But no doubt it's um, going to be a spinning wicket. Who are the quicks in the waiting in the wings? We hear a lot about Lance Morris over there. Is he is he the real deal? I think so. I think yeah, he's he's different. He's he's sort of like a he's a stark replacement. You know, he's yep. got the pace. He's yep. got a bit of you know. A raw ability in that you're not sure what's going to happen. He's got extreme pace. He's a, he's a, he's pretty versatile, which is good. Got um, shit in him. He has. He has. He's, he's he's a tough little character, so he's got plenty in him. He's good to go. But um, it's a I, better word than I was going to use. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you need. You fast you do. Model. You yeah, do. You yeah. need to be a bit crazy. You need yeah. to be a bit stupid. Yep. Um, we're not the smartest chaps, so <laughs> he's got a bit of that in him. But no, I think I spoke of Mitch Perry. Um, yeah. He did really well, well Aussie A. Um, obviously a teammate of mine, so yeah. I want to get him out there. But Richardson, um, Jai Richardson's yeah. probably the pick of the the bunch in Australia. I guess he is upside. We've seen it at the Australian level how good he can be, what he can produce. Um, but yeah, he's obviously had a lot of injuries over the last couple of years, so he's got to get fit. But then you got yeah the South Australia you've got a good crop at the moment. Mm. Um, Victorian boys. Jordan Buckingham and Wes Agar both get going well over there. Um, So there's other ones on the list. But, yeah, I think Lance and Jai are probably the key ones. Um, And then, yeah, Mitch Perry um, and those those other two South Australian boys that – you know, I've got the chance. And there's Queensland. I've got Nessa and Steckity. So there's actually plenty around Australian cricket, I guess. When guys play for so long, it looks like there's no one else to fill the void. Yeah, that's right. Um, But as we've seen, you know, Scotty's been able to fill the void over the last – um, couple, couple of years, Ness has been there. Todd Murphy came Jai in. was there. Yep, we got Todd Murphy as the backup spinner. Um, so we've got plenty of opportunities um, for these guys over the coming years. Um, you know, once these senior players start to um, start to you know slow down and call an end to it. How's your rig? As we said, thirty nine in the next month or so. You've been playing for a very long time, and it's a tough caper bending your back all those times. Are you waking up a touch sore? Are you all right? Nah, definitely a lot sore. Um, yeah, this week I felt it. Uh, yeah, that's probably the biggest thing. Like I said earlier, the knees, the knees Ooh, probably yuck. copped the brunt of it, They're banging down on those hard wickets over the years. But Your feet and ankles, feet, yeah, ankles. Um, they're they're not great, but they're in they're in good nick, which is good. You just pull up so sore and and tender over a couple of days. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty lucky. I'm playing a little less cricket now, so I get that extended rest, which has been nice to actually play. Usually it's just rock up prepare for every game and just roll out it week in, week out. Um, so it's been nice to have a bit of a break and be able to be fresh going into games, which is, um, yeah, a lot different than normal. What's next in town? A few events or something? I see you on the social scene at the minute. Now oh. you're back. <laughs> uh, Opening of chip packets? Uh, you know, just, yeah, just it's just cricket, mate. Just, you know, just, <laughs> just, just settling, settling back in. No, I'm enjoying going to watch the basketball, as, as everyone probably sees. Yeah, I enjoy going to... Support now, a fellow Triple M uh, fan, CG43. Very close, these boys. Very close. Another another good good mate of mine. So, yeah, obviously go. Go cheer him on. Watch the basketball. I've always been a have big you, basketball have you sat fan. In so. those really good seats at the front, the Reeboks. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you know, a true Nike man. So um, oh. steer clear, um, <laughs> oh, no. steer clear of that other brand and stick, and stick to Nike. Um, so yeah, stick he's in, always front row. Stick though, in don't the worry good seats. That. Are you front row? <laughs> I'm very lucky. Yeah, one of a one very of mine lucky. and Daisy's good friends, um, Matty Butcher. Yeah, lucky enough uh, has has a few good seats. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Right on the right on the court, so I'm very lucky to dish the free load off him uh, and, and and make up that opportunity. <laughs> They're going all right too. Mm. Top of the they tree, are. aren't Top they? Top of the ladder. Big yeah, game the other night that they that they lost, but it was a cracker. So um, CG's been banging them in he the has. three pointers. Yeah, yeah, so we're yep. loving that. All right, so next game is the Marsh Cup. You take on Tassie down in Launceston. There'll be ten there. That'd be good. And then you play <laughs> Queensland in a Shield game. When's that start? Next week at the G. Yeah, next Thursday. Yeah, Ooh. so we got the yeah the one day a sad day down in Lonnie. Um, hopefully, yeah, we're on a we're on a roll in that format. So yeah, a win down there could sort of yeah I think um, shore up a finals a final spot. So Ooh. that'll put us in a good place. And then yeah, and then back to the G, where we had success last week. So yeah, back there starting on the Thursday, get stuck back in and um, yeah see how we go. Two more Shield games um, left, and then then we get into the Big Bash. So. Getting close to yeah the the summer part of the um, cricket season. Mm. Good to have you back, Good mate. You, welcome back to Victoria. Good to see you, yeah. and hopefully you can come back in and talk all things Big Bash pretty shortly. You can see Sydney running around for the Renegades oh. this season as well. Peter Siddle on the rush hour, Triple M.